Do you ever use milling blades on an angle grinder? I was an aluminum bolt builder for years and that's all we use. Hi Ben, thanks for the question. So by milling blades, I, I'm assuming you mean slitting saw blades that you use in the mill. And no, I haven't used these in an angle grinder, but we'll try those out in a sec. What I have used is these Diablos that someone recommended about a year ago for, uh, I think radial arm saws. The thing about these is you have to open up the diameter so they fit on an angle grinder, but they cut aluminum really fast. You gotta be careful and hold on tight and know which way the forces are acting because the tooth spacing spacing's pretty wide. So it'll bite and grab and try jumping around on you if you're not holding it tight. And always, it spins this way. And so you want to have it, the, the grinder always pulling away from you when you're cutting. Don't go, you know, this way or come straight into it because it'll buck up on you. See how fast that cut? And these are nice because they don't clog up with the big tooth spacing, but you got to know what you're doing. They're pretty dangerous. Or one guy recommended, if you want to, you can stack two of them together and stagger the teeth so there's less tooth spacing essentially and it'll be less jumpy but then you're cutting more width so you can take your pick on what you think's best i'll link everything in the description below that i show in this video too if you're interested i know the red blades are diablo's way of advertising which is pretty smart but it's kind of unfortunate for aluminum workers because you got it ends up leaving red paint on here so i don't know if i use these a lot maybe i'd try stripping this off or find a different brand good solution to mobile cutting though. This is a quarter inch thick. And for people that aren't really familiar with using an angle grinder a lot, it's going to be safer for you to probably use a safety guard that comes with the grinders. But I never use it because I know what I can and can't do with these and which way it's torquing on you. And if you have a guard on, you know, typically they're on the back half. So that limits you to going in and cutting parts like I just did. It'll probably be in the way and you're always having to adjust it. So do what you think safe for you, but I never use guards. And then if you were using one of these to cut like long sheets a lot, I'd probably put the handle back on just for more stability. But I prefer just grabbing really tight and holding my hand here and knowing where I can and can't put my hand to stay safe. And then like on, a, on long sheets, it'd probably be nice to make some sort of like Delrin slider. So it would only go, it would only go into the part so far and stop. So it was like nice and more steady. That's something to think about if you were doing that type of work. But please, no keyboard warrior safety comments. I've addressed it here. So these are slitting slaws that you use in a mill to cut keyways and stuff. And these are the only two that I have. I hardly ever use them. And I know this one's not going to work good on aluminum because there's way too small of teeth. The spacing's not far enough apart. It's gonna clog up real bad, especially without coolant. But I think this one's gonna work pretty good. It'd be nice to have a bigger diameter, but this is all I have. We'll give this one a try. So the problem with these is though, the diameter's too big, at least these ones I have. So I have to make a little, I guess, adapter sleeve to get it nice and centered. Whoa. I never put down my calipers open anywhere, ever, and mine are $20 generals from Home Depot. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Some of us like to get shit done in a timely manner and not write it down if we don't need to. Okay, like I said, I wish it was a bigger diameter, but it's all I have, so we'll flip this over and see what it does. Clogging up a little bit. We'll try some WD 40 on it.
A little better, still clogging up though. Moving right along. I'm surprised you used such a fine pitch blade on your cord band. Have you ever tried the Morse 8-11 blades? They're the only one I use for everything unless it's really thin stainless. No, I've never used those, but if these ever wear out, the ones that I use, I'll try them. I'll put a link in the description below for everybody. They're pretty cheap. They're only like eight bucks a piece. And the 8-11 he's talking about means the teeth per inch. And these ones I currently have, I think are like 18 teeth, which is a lot. But porta bands spin real slow, so they don't clog up nearly as bad like that grinder wheel I was showing you. But uh, so the 8-10 that he's talking about is variable per inch. And that, I think that's supposed to help reduce chatter and then it'll help cut better because you don't have the same height on all the teeth so they don't clog up as easy. But the reason I don't use them is because I just like, I don't use the porta band very often, but when I do, I just want to have a blade in it that I know is going to work for whatever I'm going to cut. Thin stainless, thicker aluminum. Yeah, it's not going to cut aluminum as fast. If it's thicker, it might clog up. But like I said, as little as I use this thing, I just want to grab it and be able to mow through whatever. And if any of you fabricators out there don't have a porta band yet, I highly suggest you get one. They are super handy in a lot of different scenarios. And they make battery powered ones too that are pretty cool. I'll leave a link below for that too. Quarter inch aluminum. So it's pretty slow going through aluminum with this many teeth, but it's not clogging up, it's doing okay. You know, as slow as these porta bands spin, it would be better to have less teeth per inch for aluminum. But this is an aluminum fabrication shop, so I have a better solution for cutting it. Like he said, he doesn't use those blades he's recommending for thin wall stainless because they don't have enough teeth per inch. So when you get down on the sides, it'll start chattering and you can rip off teeth because there's not enough of them to keep cutting smooth. So we'll see how this one that I have does. So you're right about here with that blade that he's recommending with the less teeth, you start chattering really bad. So yeah, if I didn't have all the other saws in the shop that I do set up, set up specifically for aluminum, I would use the blades he recommends. But for me with this porta band, I just want to grab it and know the blade's going to work for pretty much whatever I'm using it for. Okay, thanks for watching. If you got any more questions or comments that aren't answered on the website, leave them below.